Welcome to Touch Technology Review. It's time to talk about the iMac 2017. This is an ever elusive iMac. We've been expecting a new release for at least six months now. The last time they've updated the iMac range was all the way back in 2015. Now there has been much speculation online about a new model in the midst. It was expected about uh, March 2017, but unfortunately, we saw no new model appear. So it's well and truly overdue. I think this model may be released sometime in June 2017, possibly during the Worldwide Developers Conference. From what I've been reading online, it looks like there is a new model that is about to appear. There was talk about a week ago about the fact that Apple needs to redress the Mac Pro series of computers all its failings and something may be uh, appearing in the 2018 timeline and in the meantime they kind of suggested there may be some updates to the iMac to make them even more appealing for the pro users that have been going down the iMac line instead of the Mac Pro Avenue so this is very possible now in terms of the features and specifications we expect to see in the brand new iMac 2017 this is most certainly going to include the KB Lake processor upgrade. So we should see much faster processing capability. There's been talk about the addition of extra RAM capability all the way up to 62 or 64 gigabytes, and also doing away with the whole fusion drive concept and going entirely to the SSD format for the hard drive capacity. And I think this is a very good move. The other things that we may see is an improved monitor. At the moment, we have the 21 inch model and the 27 inch retina display. We might see retina find its way into the lower 21 inch size, and we might even see an increase in size from 27 inch to a larger 30 inch monitor. Again, this is only speculation, but they do need to make some kind of improvement to make that monitor all that more impressive. In terms of innovation, we do need to see something significant from Apple. We all saw that recently Microsoft outdid Apple by releasing the Surface Studio, which is a 28 inch all-in-one computer with touchscreen capability and a full tilt screen, which really provides greater opportunities for creative artists, illustrators, architects, and even musicians wanting to use a touchscreen interface. So I think Apple really needs to be heading down that track at some point, but despite this, they seem to be resisting the full touchscreen capability on their desktop machines. However, they are advocating the use of touch in some form. For example, in the recent MacBook Pro release, we saw an ever popular touch bar make its appearance for the first time. This was widely accepted and praised by its users. Even though I found it somewhat limited, most people are receptive of this type of new touch interface. So I think that the new iMac might incorporate some kind of touch bar as we saw in the MacBook Pro. And obviously this is going to be part of an all-in-one touch bar and keyboard solution. Whether that comes bundled in the iMac or whether that becomes a standalone product, we're yet to see, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see some kind of innovation appear in that form with the brand new iMac. So really that's all we've got in terms of potential new features and specs that are gonna appear on the new iMac. Unfortunately, no one really knows when the release date of the 2017 iMac will be, but as mentioned, it's most likely going to be June and if Apple really push things down the line, it could be all the way down in September. 2017. Nonetheless, if I was going to be buying one now, I'd be holding off. I think that 2015 is too far a gap and there's been too many advancements in terms of the processors and RAM speed and SSD speeds that really need to find their way into the iMac by about now. So I'd be waiting and holding off until the new model finally arrives. So that's all I've got for you on this quick video about the iMac 2017. If I was going to be purchasing an iMac this year, certainly I'd be holding off and waiting till at least June and if not the September release whenever it finally appears. I doubt very much that it's going to extend all the way through to 2018. So we are definitely gonna see a new iMac this year and it will be worth 
holding off and waiting for that particular model. Also, I'd be interested to know if any of our viewers are considering the Microsoft Surface Studio, which I mentioned, that has the 28 inch touch display. Is this something you could consider given that we need to wait so long for Apple and there's been no innovation on the hardware front? Would you consider making a switch? Put your comments in the comments box below. And also, if you've heard any other rumors and speculation about the new iMac that's forthcoming, also put them in the comments box below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. Bye for now.